hi guys welcome to my channel it's me again Pauline Rashani here again with another video I hope you guys have seen the title of this video and guess what we are during we are in Thanksgiving seasons seasons I want to say happy Thanksgiving to every one of y'all so today I'm going to be doing a requested video by one of my uh, one of the youtubers subscribers on my channel and I have also subscribed to her channel so I watched this video a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago about where she wanted to um, like have a journey where she wants to experiment with crystals and stuff like that and since she's a really nice girl like she's has very good uh vibe she's nice i love her videos she's generally a nice person well you know i've never met her in life but i've seen her videos and she comes all very very positive so i commented on one of her videos and told her about crystals and how i feel like it's not a good way because you know when you love somebody when you see potential in them like you want them to know jesus you want them to know the love of jesus and you know hopefully god will save them because i cannot save anybody like my job is just to share what i've learned in christ and to share the love of god and the love of christ and he will do the job because he says that my sheep will hear my voice and they will come to me and i will never draw them away so you know our job is to just share the gospel and let god do the rest all right so crystals as a believer in Christ, the reason why I don't believe in crystals is because I feel like they take the place of God. I feel like people today, they use crystals to um, heal or to like find spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Like they use crystals in a way where it's unbiblical. Like it's not the way God wants us to use these things that he has created. Like I know there's a verse in a New, uh, New Testament where Paul says that people um uh, worship the creation but they forget to worship the creator so that is how i take upon these crystals i they're creations of god like he created these things but he did not create those things for us to use them as a point of contact or a point of to like if you if for example you're looking for love like there's a crystal i don't know it's a rose or something like it's supposed to help you uh find love or something or healing or um stuff like that like these crystals we're not supposed to use them to find our spirituality or to um to put them to, to to we're not supposed to replace god with crystals and i'm afraid uh because now we have this new thing it's called the new age it's like a religion where like you're like your own god like do whatever works for you okay fine not do whatever works for you but like do whatever makes you happy or like you know like you can manifest things i feel like that is all witchcraft because <laughs> <laughs> okay everything is witchcraft right like i feel like that's really not what god wants us to do even though god says that whatever you pray for believed in your heart that you have received it it shall be yours now that's not manifesting anything that's basically just asking god like telling god what you want you know like he's your father and you tell him what you want and if it's his will you know he'll give it to you you know like you know, the Bible says, Jesus says, you know, as being evil, when our children ask for bread, are we going to, uh, when our, our children ask for fish, are we going to give them a snake? No, we give them bread or we give them fish. So it's the same thing. If you ask God for a car, he's not going to give you a motorcycle because you asked for a car. And if it's according to his will and you, you, I mean, let's, you know, you know, God gives his children whatever they want. Okay. A car is not a bad thing. If you want a car, you know, tell God that you want a car. He will provide the money. He'll provide the finances and you will get yourself a car. But like when we, when we start doing manifestation, like manifesting, like, um, I want to manifest a car. Like, you know, like you're not asking God anything. Same thing with the crystals. When it comes to crystals, it's like connected to these chakras or whatever. I don't know. Chakras. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and Google chakras. Like something about the body, you know, like, body points or whatever like if you need healing or whatever like you can use those crystals to find healing and you know so you basically using crystals to find healing and that is a no-no that is worship that's worshiping the creation instead of worshiping god now if you want healing obviously you can just you know god says that um the bible says that by his stripes we are healed by the stripes of jesus christ on the cross we are healed okay yes so you could just pray for your own healing as god to heal you you don't have like you know what i'm saying like you we've got to um you know we have to reverence god and when i say god i mean jesus jesus is god i know people talk about oh jesus is the son of god blah 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 no like jesus is god it's something deeper than that and it's hard for me to like um one day i might come over here and explain 
explain everything for y'all because I have seen this. I have talked to people talk about, you know, Jesus is not God. Jesus is the son of God, blah, blah, blah. No, Jesus, he is God. He, when he was talking, I know I'm off, like I'm going off topic, but when he was talking to the children of Israel, um, because they were being so hard headed, um, the Pharisees, not the children of Israel, they, he was talking to the Pharisees and he told, um, the Pharisees, well, you're not even, you, you're not even 30 yet. You've seen it. You've seen Moses or whatever. But Jesus said, um, oh, you've seen Abraham or is it Moses? Moses, Abraham. I think it's Abraham. <laughs> All right. So Jesus says before Abraham was, I am. Okay. And we, and when we also go to the book of, um, Exodus where, um, God came to Moses and he told me, I, I need you to go out there and get my people out of um, the, the dude, Egyptian dude, and he was like, um, so what am I going to tell them? And then God tells them, tell them I am who I am. The God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. I am who I am. So yeah, so let's go, let's go ahead to the, the crystals. So, um, that's why I believe crystals are not as a Christian or as anybody, okay? You know, as a human being, because we are all created in the image of God. If you are a human being, if you are a hundred percent human being, then trust me, God loves you and He wants you, He wants you to trust Him in everything. The reason why I say if you are a human being is because we live with people that are not 100% human beings. And it's been there since the days of Jesus, okay? When Jesus told them people, you know, you are you sons of uh, serpents and stuff like that. You are of your, of your father devil. Yes, so that means there are people that are not... There are not humans. And if you are a human being, you are created in the image of God, then trust me, God does not want you dabbling with crystals. God does not want you to, um, I guess you can buy them to decorate your house. Cause I mean, those are his creation. I mean, it's even in the Bible in, um, um, I know one of my, one of the new YouTubers that I just joined her channel. Um, I seen her with crystals, and I was like, Oh, I saw her reading the Bible, but then I saw her with crystals and I'm like, Hmm. I, I asked a very generally question. Well, why you, you know, why do you have crystals? You know, and she really gave me a really good answer. And I went to the Bible, and yeah, it's there. You know, the breastplate of Aaron, it had crystals on there. You know, it had nice crystals. But the Bible does not tell us to worship crystals. The Bible does not tell us to use crystal for good vibe energy. The Bible does not even say anything about using crystals to make us feel good or to find love or to find healing or to find wealth or whatever people use crystals for. You know yeah but if you want to have crystal you can have crystals in your house you know decorate you know just to decorate your house yes but be careful because the devil he's a rolling line looking for somebody to devour so if you are not strong in the lord i would probably recommend you not to buy crystals because we live in a fallen world we live in a world where the devil he is in control and this is his world right now you understand so he is the god of this world so if you are not strong in the lord i recommend that you not buy crystals because trust and believe like the devil creep in in your mind and you know and he will divert you in the wrong direction but if you are strong in the lord if you have a relationship with jesus christ you i guess you could buy crystals and i guess you know i guess you could just you know decorate your house with crystals or whatever but yeah so like this is this is just my opinion i know it's not my opinion like it's what i have learned as a christian and in the bible god does not want us to worship creation he does not us he does not want us to worship creation. He wants us to worship him. He does not want us to have these created things and have them as a source of protection or source of power or a relationship because this is how you this is when you get into witchcraft this is where you get you start being possessed by demons you start having weird fairies come in your dreams thinking that fairies are good no fairies are demons by the way I know hmm yeah, we live in a really bad world, guys. So, yeah, this is, yeah, so this is just me ranting right now, guys. I'm sorry if I'm ranting too much. But, yeah, um, yeah. So, all I'm saying is crystals, I guess you could use them, but don't use them as a, as a point of contact. When I mean like a point of contact is don't use them to find healing, to find happiness, to find love, to find wealth, to manifest things, or use them with the chakras or whatever. I don't know what chakra is. Some with the new age or yoga yeah you understand so like for me i like to keep it simple because like god he's not very complicated like god jesus like all he wants us to do is trust him have faith in him like you know just the way when you have good parents like you have a relationship with your parents you go to them for anything that you want like you you you're spoiled or whatever like <laughs> so that's how it is with god like you could you could be spoiled you understand like 
just have a genuine relationship with God and you trust you don't need any crystals you don't need any amulets for protection or necklaces with these weird necklaces like I, I could just tell when I see a jury I could like discern that this is this is not good but then I could see other juries and they are fairly very innocent and stuff like that so yeah but yeah, all I'm saying is relationship with Jesus Christ is very simple. It's not very complicated. Even he says that come to me, all you are heavy laden and are stressed out that you don't know what to do. Come to Jesus. He says, come to me and I will give you rest. Come to me and I will give you rest. I will give you my yoke because my yoke is easy and my, my burden is light. You know what I'm saying? Like God does not want you doing a whole lot of things. You know, there's not too many rules. Everything with God is free free of charge, freely give, freely given, like whatever he gives you, if you don't have to work for it, you don't have to do anything to get, you don't have to do anything to earn his love. He already loves you as you are. Like I said, if you are a real human being, God loves you as you are because he created you in his own image. You understand? Like he, yeah, God has, when he, when he created, when he created Adam, okay, he, like he breathed, like he, whoo, and he became a living being. So we all have God in us. Okay, we all have God in us. That's why you know right from wrong. That is why if you are a real, you know, human, you know, you get like there's certain things that will hurt you. Like when you see somebody be murdered, when you see police brutality, like you just feel some type of way because that's God in you. Like you have that ability to tell this is right, this is wrong. Because there's some people that are not 100% human beings. They have no remorse whatsoever so i'm here to tell you that i love you and please don't if you're gonna dabble into into um crystals just be careful don't use it as a means of spirituality because then that's gonna lead you farther and farther away from god it's gonna lead you to the devil he's gonna lead you to the demons you're gonna be possessed then you're gonna start having weird dreams at night you're gonna start having sleep paralysis and stuff like that you don't want that so all i'm saying is come to jesus jesus loves you just as you are you know if you are gonna have crystals you know use them as decoration in your room pray for them again everything is prayer once you get your crystals pray for them cover them with the blood of jesus christ and do not use them as a means of spirituality because again it, it will draw you farther and farther away from god and you will be depressed you will have sleep paralysis you're gonna start having getting sick and stuff you're still gonna be depressed and stuff like that and you don't want that so yes i hope i'm not ranting too much again if you are here in my channel and you have not subscribed yet subscribe to my channel because of here i bring you some juicy content i hope it is because i feel like it is juicy um again if you're not born again what are you waiting for jesus loves you come to him talk to him generally tell him tell him that you are a sinner that is in need of a savior because we're all we, we are all sinners we've all fallen short of glory of the lord jesus christ um and we need him in this life. We need, oh my God, when you, when you live in this world, you need Jesus to survive. Because trust me, if you don't have Jesus, yeah, life is not good. But yeah, so come to Jesus. Tell him everything that you want to tell him. Ask him questions. Generally ask him questions and he will reveal himself to you because he is God and he is real. And if God is real, then the devil is real. And if you want to know if the devil is real, just ask him. Devil, if you're real out there, trust me, he will um, He will reveal himself to you and you're going to end up running to Jesus. But you don't want that route. So I would rather go with Jesus. Just ask him if you are real. Because if he is real, then Satan is real. Because Jesus created Satan. Remember, but Satan used to live in the heavens. And it's like he used to be one of them angels in heaven. But then he wanted to become God. And then God, I mean, he was kicked out of the heavens. And now he's over here on the earth. Now this is his world. This is his earth. This is his world. And he rules this earth. So that's why there's so many of these confusion in this world. There's a lot of religions up within this. There's a lot of religions that will lead you to hell. Such as the new, the new age, the manifestation and stuff like that. I don't know, like out of chakras and all kind of weird things going on in this world. All you need is Jesus. All you need is is Him, and 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 all you gotta do is ask Him if He's real. Ask Him to reveal Himself to you, and He will do it. Um, so I guess I'm done with this video. I hope I helped somebody. I hope I helped the girl that must. I wanted the, the, the my um. 
my fellow youtuber i hope i hope i helped you please do your research you could even google on youtube there's a lot of christians talking about it maybe they have dabbled into crystals and you know they've had bad experiences with it because it becomes spiritual again life is spiritual so you, you could you know i go to youtube and search those and listen to your testimonies and I hope this helped you. Um, and I hope you have a lovely day. Um, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I just want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Um, eat your turkey. Don't worry about them calories. You could always burn them later. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, God loves you all. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.